Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joseph Ryan Bate, your tech warrior from Limong Siglo. Today, we're going to discuss further on audio and lights. I'm also going to show you guys our setup in audio and in lights. Then I will give tips and share our experience in this matter. But before that, music. Oh. Audio plays a very important role on videos, like this one you're watching, or like this one. A video won't be complete without an audio. It gives life to our video, especially with music, or in film, the thing that they call sound design. Sound design is an enhanced audio of any action. It can be either recorded live or recreate it in a studio. This sort of sound adds emotion on what we see. Now, the key to a good audio is a good microphone. Of course, Having good equipment doesn't necessarily mean you'll always have a good output. It always depends on both user and equipment. You might have this problem or like forget to charge your batteries or there is a small piece of equipment that, that you lost along the way or sometimes cable don't work because it got destroyed anything could happen there are also other factor like it is a very situational thing that we have to overlook and so my first tip is that you have to always do a backup recording you you need to have always at least a secondary source of audio secondary recording you have a secondary mic you can at least use your phone as a backup, especially when you are doing interviews and talking heads. You can at least put your phone besides the interviewee and the interviewer, or at least near them, so that you have a backup. Now this is how I do re voice recording at home. I pick up some egg trays and put it below my phone it's record okay now gonna put it put the egg tray and okay like this 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 this at least help to lessen noise coming from the ambient noise then the second tip is to a lot time to check the quality of your audio. Sometimes you 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 think that your audio is is good, but you don't know. Sometimes it it messed up. You need to a lot time to check the quality of your audio. Like you need to wear at least headset or an earphones to to double check your quality of audio and of course the loudspeaker then check your check it in your audio levels sometimes you think it's good but the audio levels don't match up my very tip is that you need to check the quality of audio before starting a lot time prepare now if you don't have a clean audio you can fix it in software like audacity but as I've said, always a lot of time before shooting, check your audio, check the quality. Always think that it can be fixed on the post-processing, on the post-production. Because it's very time-consuming if you will just leave it up in the post-processing.
various kind of lighting can give certain mood. In my case, I wanted to have something a cinematic look that is quite popular nowadays, especially on new media. Cinematic is a look similar to films we watch on the cinemas. And lighting plays a very important role to achieve cinematic look. There are two types of source lights that we can use. First is the natural light, then the artificial light. But I do kind of use natural light because the room that I am using is does have a curtains and didn't have much fully covered. So natural light kind of goes through here inside the room. The good thing in artificial light is that you can control it. Unlike in natural light, the more light equipment you have, the better. But just like what I mentioned earlier, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a good equipment. Is that you're just good to go? No, that is not the case. It also depends on the user. Depending on the knowledge of the user, depending on how the user know the equipments very well. So my tip is you need to learn the proper placement of our lights and the intensity of the lights that is needed. Of course aside from the source light which is natural light or the artificial light, you also need to learn about key light, fill light, and the back light. Key light usually is the first and the foremost important part of lighting that we need to have. It covers majority of the lighting in this setup. It gives highlight to our subject. Usually it is placed 45 degrees in front of your subject. It can be either a hard or soft. Soft which means it has a diffuser like this one. It has a soft box in the form of a lantern it is shaped like a lantern that is why it's called a lantern light then let's go to the fill light fill light is the one responsible in exposing the shadows that, that the key lights gives so if you do want it to lessen your shadow or at least make it disappear you need a fill light with that usually Fill light is positioned at the opposite angle of your key light. The, the strength or the intensity of your fill light depends on the mood that you wanted to, to do. Uh, depends on the mood that you wanted to express. Fill light determines the shadow, the contrast, and the brightness of a scene. And let's go to the backlight. Backlight is yes as what it is, as what what the name suggests, backlight is basically lighting that is at the back, at the back, at your back. Or in my case, it's it's not really at my back, like back, but it's it's almost on my side. But it's it does count as backlight, as how it is positioned in in my case backlight this gives a quite the the color on my side side of my face and and in some case backlight is used to highlight the hair the hairline or at least this your your the shoulder mostly backlight is a use is used for artistic or creative shots to, to, re to add more details that make your image or the subject pop out. To me, it is a combination of learning from failures and experimenting because sometimes it depends on what mood you wanted to show your audience. This lighting I have in here is not a good setup to use on interviews. This blue lighting is not... It's... I won't recommend you to use it on your interviews, but on talking heads, again, it does depends because I do want it to, to use the cinematic look. To me, it is a combination of learning from failures and experimenting, and that's it for this episode of Samurai. 
Hope you learned something and became inspired by this video. This is Joseph Ryan Batty, your tech warrior from Limang Sigdo, saying bye bye. Peace. Peace. Wacha. 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 And be inspired by this episode. <laughs>